Okay, guys, this is going to sound a little weird, but I think not even trolling, like I'm being 100% serious. I think that loading spinners are probably one of the best features of React because they are so quick, they are so snappy, and they're so easy to implement. And that's what we're going to be doing. And we're going to be using an external library. Now, I'm not a big fan of external libraries, but React spinners really does take away a lot of the hard work of creating spinners. It's really easy. And just with a quick npm i React spinners, we can quickly download it, which is what we are about to do right now. Okay, so I'm going to go into here. I'm going to say npm i, and we don't need type. We don't need any types for this. I guess maybe possibility we could and if we need the types we can always bring them in later but i'm just going to uh forget about the types for right now because this is going to be super quick super simple and i do not want to make it any more complicated than it needs to be so i'm going to go into here i'm going to say npm i react spinners go ahead and install that it'll take just a second Next, what we want to do is we want to close all of this stuff, or I'm going to close all this because I can't tell what's going on here. And we don't have a spinner component, so what we need to do is create a folder. We're going to call it spinner, and you could house this for multiple spinners. So I'm going to go spinner.tsx. Then I'm going to go spinner.css. And you need CSS. Just a, just a warning, you're going to need CSS for this one because we're going to have to center the spinner. But before we do that, let's just finish building this out. And there's going to be a couple props. Even though we can just toss a spinner in there and not put anything, do anything to it, let's go ahead and let's make a wrapper for our spinner so that we can communicate to other developers in the future, possibly, what needs to be passed to this and we're going to make an optional we're not we're going to make it so that you don't have to pass anything yet and also we're going to add a default param and default params if you don't know what they are they look like this so because this is an optional if we don't pass anything into it what we're going to do is we're going to set the loading to true. And the reason we're going to do this and make it so that we can pass an is loading is maybe you want to add this to a button. Maybe you want to add this to something where state is coming down and you need to pass that true is loading in there. We can do that. And we can also not do it. Best of both worlds. All right. So close this out. We'll go ahead and prepare this for being a multi-line statement. Remember, if it's multi-line, you got to add your parens. Now we're going to go into here, we're going to add an ID. We're going to say loading spinner. And we're, the reason we're making this ID is because we need to quickly grab this and ID has the highest CSS selector specificity. If you don't know what CSS specificity is and you plan on being a web developer, I would highly, highly recommend to Google those terms, but don't, I wouldn't do it right now. It's just maybe do it later. All right, we're going in here and we're going to make this uh, a neat, nice little... Uh, light green color, very light. So three, six, D seven, B seven. And that'll give us nice little light green. Say is loading. We'll go ahead and pass in is loading. And we'll go into here and we could even add this up here if we wanted to. If you wanted to go ahead and add a prop, that's the beauty of React. We can customize and we can add abilities to pass this stuff in if we want to, but just, Gonna not let's not reinvent the wheel right now. If you want to, you can, but I'm going to try and keep this very uh, simple. All right, going to here. Aria label has to do with something called accessibility. If you don't know what accessibility is, accessibility has to do with people who have disabilities. So if you have some type of disability, they have special devices that uh, have that are controlled with these things that are called Aria. All right, so data is equal to test id is equal to loader and i have no idea what this is to be honest with you but i saw it in the documentation and i decided that i would add it there because i didn't want to break it or add something that was supposed to or not add something that was supposed to be there you know what i mean moving along here what we're going to do is now we've already built our spinner we're going to go through all of our balance sheets and everything and replace this with a neat little 
spinner. Also, one thing I forgot while it's still fresh in my mind, we need to import CSS and we actually need to create CSS for this because the spinner library does not want to stay in the middle of the page and we need to make it stay in the middle of the page. And the way that we're going to do that is we're going to go hash uh, spinner um, position uh, fixed top 50% left 50% and then uh, semicolon then we're going to transform and we will say translate negative 50 and negative 50 that is looking great so we already have our balance sheet let's go to our cash flow statement going to replace this with spinner very, very easy. Add spinner. Say company dashboard. There's no loading in there. Company profile. Go ahead, add the spinner. Import. I'm going to go ahead and copy this so that I can bring it in quicker. Go to the income statement. Go ahead, get rid of this. Bring it in. And also the company page. I believe the company page has this down at the bottom. Okay, don't know what that was, but it's very annoying. And then lastly, I would just go up into here and just quickly Google not found to make sure that you didn't miss anything. And then just go into here, make sure you're all saved. And then we're going to run it and see what it looks like. And it's going to look beautiful. I can already uh, feel it. Okay, <laughs> so we're going in here. Looks like it's not, not only, oh my gosh, look at that beautiful little spinner in there. There is no more just words. There is beautiful spinners. And our whole entire page as well too also has a loading spinner. That makes, like no, like being for real, that does make our app look so much better compared to what it looks like before. Anyways, hope that you guys enjoyed this. If you did, make sure to smash that like button. Make sure to smash that subscribe button. And as always, thank you for watching.